Hi muckers, before we get into this absolute disaster of a video, I just checked my YouTube analytics and it's now, it's getting better, but 49% of my daily watchers from the past two months are not subscribed to my videos, so if you enjoy my videos I post every single day, I would really appreciate you subscribing, joining the channel, I know YouTube unsubscribes a lot of people as well, I don't mean to be like Gabby Hanna, I'm Shadowban because I'm not, I know that it just happens in the algorithm and stuff, so... I would really appreciate it if you enjoyed the videos to make sure you're subscribed or consider subscribing. Okay, on with whatever this was. <laughs> Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking and choosing to spend even a little portion of your day with me. Okay, I very clearly, you can tell by my hair, the state it's in just jumped out of the shire and I was watching the third super roast battle from the Deaf Noodles show, the Deaf Noodles roast comedy show, whatever the fuck it's called now, and I got like a decent chunk in, I think I'm like nearing the ending, and this one is completely different than any of the previous two. Now if you're aware on my channel, I've kind of kept your tradition and I've reviewed each of them, so there's been two, I've, you know, the first one I, you know, cut it down and, you know, parts I wanted to talk about, I talked about them, the second one I did the exact same thing, and for the third one I was expecting to do the same thing. I didn't watch it in real time, nor did a lot of people, by the way. Jesse Smiles and Lily did a podcast live stream reacting to this, it's not up anymore I don't think, but they, they were live streaming the live stream of Dennis's show and theirs had like 2,000 viewers whereas Dennis's had like I think like 100 or 200 maximum so I think the peak interest has like died down now for people watching these and it makes sense because the first show people watched because they wanted to see how much of a disaster it was going to be and that worked the second one people watched because of Salvo and you know Dennis getting confrontation the third one there's there's no spark that people want to watch, so that's why, you know, Dennis struggled to get, like, even 200 people watching whenever he has, like, an audience of nearly a million people. Um, so, whenever I was watching and I didn't know what to expect because the numbers were so bad on the, the watch rate of it, let me tell you, whenever I was watching it, I very clearly and quickly find out the reason why, and it is because this is no longer the Deaf Noodles show. Dennis has now been used by his co-workers, his co-comedians, if you want to call them that, like Steven. I'm an hour into this, and the show up until now has not been anything to do with Dennis, and not even Dennis taking control of anything. Dennis has literally, if you told me Dennis was not in that room, I would have believed you. Not only does he have no control, he's not even trying to act involved in the shows anymore, and I think he's given up, but I also think that Steven and the other guys who are working with him have now used Dennis to have a platform, you know, they're on this comedy show, they've got a comedy show for like free now, they're getting paid to do this, like, they are, they are the genius ones in this, they've now used Dennis, made him look a fool, Dennis is probably so scared to do this ever again, that they now run the show, and one thing I will say, so, as you can see, I am, um, who's texting me, Hates 3 podcasts have started a live video, okay, Alright, whatever. Um, so I'm an hour and three minutes into this, and there's really been no cameos of Dennis yet. And this is the part, you can see Dennis right here, by the way. So, like, Dennis is, is there, he's at the show, but he just has nothing to add anymore. That he just kind of sits in silence and lets the other people take control. Now, I want to give... Steven, who is this one, the one that's kind of running the show, a bit of credit because this show, I'm not saying it's funny by any means, I'm not saying it's enjoyable by any means, but all I'm saying is that with Steven running the show, finally there's some sort of professional running it. I'm not calling Steven professional, but I'm like some sort of professional. So there's, there's a flow to the show, and you know what it took for the show to work? Dennis not being involved in it. And so I'm gonna read a couple of the comments. They say, um, Dennis is just sitting on his seat. This is running so smoothly, Dennis just brings the chaos. Someone said, letting Steven run this shit made it so much better. Most of the comics still sucked, but damn, my dude Steven was out here trying to make this thing good. A real one. Respect. How can Dennis suck so much it's mind-boggling? Someone said, Dennis is so unfunny that even the mics are upstaging him. He brought up the chat whenever someone brilliant came on stage and everyone was cheering for them. He was both jealous and afraid because his jokes are kindergarten level. So basically, the fact that 
when Dennis is put face to face with another comedian, the other comedian makes the crowd laugh and Dennis gets jealous and like vicious. Then he made the roast, um, you know, just tank so bad. His only joke was him trying to set them up for failure, but they ruled it off with punches and did the opposite. Someone said the jokes or the judges roasting Dennis was the funniest part of this show. So basically people are saying that Steven um, saved the show here. So I have stopped watching the second that I know that Dennis and I fucking gets involved. Oh my God, there's cat hair. Um, one hour and three minutes into an hour 15 minutes is when Dennis finally gets involved. And now I don't know if he's gonna get so involved, if he's just gonna say a couple things, so this video could literally end in a minute. We're gonna see. So keep in mind, that's what the running order's been so far. Dennis at his own fucking show. The Deaf Noodles Super, Super Roast Battles, live from Hollywood. He's finally fucking speaking. I have my Diet Coke, let's get into it. So, make sure you see Zach over here for some drinks, tip your bartender, and now we're about to get ready. Oh, wait, well, we gotta give out the, the, the bell first. Who won? Give it out. Who won the bell? Who won the night? Right, so we know we got a belt. Oh, God. We're starting off with Dennis trying to make a passive aggressive joke, and people in the crowd are going, uh. I thought it was your battle. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> Steven goes, I thought it was your battle. Mmm, I'm starting to like him. Take the belt home. Who? Oh my god, there's like a unanimous like, oh, when Dennis is speaking now, because he's trying to make like a passive aggressive joke to make Steven look bad, but Steven's making him look bad. Hoo hoo hoo! the belt out of the battlers? Did we not think that through? I thought we were going to save the belt for like a championship yeah. round. Yeah. Oh. Like, what do y'all think? Y'all think we should give the belt now out or wait? Oh my god, no one's agreeing with Dennis in his own crowd made up of his own subscribers. Is this a belt worthy? This ain't no belt worthy wait, night. Wait, wait, wait. What do you think? What do y'all think? Yes. <laughs> right, wouldn't you not? It's something that you build up to. You know what? Fair play to Steven. He has literally used Dennis to now have this platform as a host on the show. And you know what? I appreciate the grind and I like it. And he's now turned Dennis's own crowd in the audience against him. Fabulous work, Steven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Damn it. Dennis trying to buy a belt every week. <laughs> Dennis gonna buy a belt every week. He's, he's just sitting in silence. Business, bitch. Everybody in the block have a belt. Do you see him sitting in silence? Week. No control. <laughs> oh, you was there, huh? Okay. <laughs> see, I'm not saying Steven's funny. But I'm just really enjoying that Steven is making Dennis look so unfunny. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, god damn it. My god, Dennis is the one who's like, I've been towards every comedy club in New York. I walked the streets of Las Vegas going to the comedy clubs. Bitch! Woo! Rough! Those streets must have been dirty because you got nothing from them. Alright, let's just keep this shit going, right? Alright, right, let's keep it going, going, yeah. Fucking paper, rock, scissors for the belt. Wait, so we're doing the belt? Oh, we do? I was just getting out. No, no, let's get out. Is, uh, okay. is your, is your uh, competitor yeah. here? Yeah, we got, uh, we got a very special guest, folks. Oh, uh, woohoo! Dennis has stood up! One iron five minutes into the fucking roast battle. Cheers to you, Dennis. Let me, uh... Oh, oh never mind, he's leaving again. <laughs> get this shit all figured out. We got music pulling people up this shit. Cause this shit know, is dope as fuck, right? Space is fine. We right there! See, Steven is being smart about this. He's making fun of how bad the show is, whereas Dennis goes silent whenever it's brought up or something goes wrong. We right. See? Thank y'all for vibing out with us. We can shit together. Not the worst. Where is he? Hey, yo. Not the worst. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I could show that bitch on TikTok again. You know, she going in right now. <laughs> Dennis, come back. Woohoo, he's back. We have a very special guest with us today. Uh, you? Is it you? Because you seem like a special guest at your own fucking show. Uh, he's a, some of you may know who he is. Some of you may not know who he is. Salvo. His name is... Uh, Kimsar. Chris D'Elia. Would come out. Yo, Give a Chris, round of applause come for Drisalia. Drisalia. <laughs> what? This just looks like a cleaner version of Dennis. Who is this man? He just looks like if Dennis took a shower, right? I get him a mic. Who is it? Why do people boo? Do we not like him? Well, he's been here before. I've never heard he's that name before. before. <laughs> I've been All here right. many times. How you guys doing? You guys chilling? 
Alright, cool. Dennis, please, if you stand in silence at the only fucking stage that you're on- Oh! Do something! Man! Do something! Uh, Drisdalia and- Drisdalia. <laughs> Yeah, for going battle. Mr. Salia, call me Mr. Salia. So we got three, we got three rounds, three jokes. I don't have any jokes prepared, so I'm just gonna. Oh my God! What the fuck, Dennis? You are so untalented. Say that. At comedy, like this is bad. You have no jokes prepared. Really, really. <laughs> Flying by the seat of my pants. So, uh, yeah, let's just go. Right, hands or tails? Oh, I'm sure this is gonna be so fucking fabulous to watch. I should have smoked before this. Tails. Always. Dennis first. Dennis first. Dennis first, Dennis, please. Yes, on you. Yes! Right, you look like Chris D'Elia if he were, got a part in the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> what? I couldn't even tell what the joke was because his delivery was so, like, anxiety and just da -da 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 -da. <laughs> like a little Miranda breathing <laughs> like he, he repeated that so quickly silence silence all right yes I think that's the point oh <laughs> uh, wait give me a second actually um I have terrible memory come on man oh man all right, all right, this before I make fun Dennis just went, oh, come on, man, this is a roast battle about him not having his joke prepared whenever Dennis was like, I don't have any jokes. I do little, 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 Like, hey, you, what does an introvert do in the middle of a state? Hmm. <laughs> don't make- Hello? The entire joke just got bleeped out. Hello? I can't even make a comment on it. Fun of yourself. I'm gonna okay. do that. You can okay. just make fun of me. <laughs> okay. Dennis, it's on you. All right. Why was that bleeped out? Um, that seems like a setup. Why was the other guy's first joke bleeped out? Oh, another joke from Dennis. I'm sure it's great. Did you did you forget your shirt in the uh, oh, the clothes rack? That <laughs> shit looks tight as fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Please, please! Ah, oh, this is so bad, Dennis. This is so, oh my god, that is, uh, this is so bad! Ellie is the only one laughing. <laughs> He's like, Thank you for the laughs. You missed a spot when you uh, shaved this morning. That is true, I do have a mustache. Mustache brothers. What do you think, Papa Gut? This is not good. <laughs> Papa Gut in the garage? What the fuck? <laughs> I know. This is not. <laughs> oh my god, and Steven is like making jokes about how bad they are and people are laughing with Steven. Bravo, Steven. This say, is that, wait, wait. say that to the mic, say that to the mic. Is that actually Papa Gus? This, this is my 9-11. I think the people in the chat agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Is that actually Papa Gus? He's actually gonna make a joke about 9-11, but I bombed it. <laughs> The jokes they tell are like whenever you type in like your mama jokes onto like Google and they like do like the most generated ones that like even if they were funny, you've heard them a hundred times. Uh, Alright. Uh, <laughs> tough crowd. Tough cried? Tough cried? No. Bad jokes. No, it wasn't. It was actually not a tough crowd at all. <laughs> Steven is like doing a really good job. Not a tough crowd at all. He's like openly carrying this by making them look so this is the oh little baby this is so bad the crowd was not tough the crowd was just rather mean, nice the crowd was rather nice steven is actually doing a great job at this the crowd was rather generous please the crowd was generous he's 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 actually doing a very good job of this steven is who i'm talking about the, get the judges a mic uh, where the judges a mic let me get it so they can react in real time I just put the mic over there. I know. I'm a moron. I think we established that. Why would you guys end on this one? Yeah, why you this? You could have done this one. Ooh, someone was like, why would you end on this roast battle? Because it's like so bad. Oh God, imagine people saying that about the big finale. Like you're the big finale, Dennis. Warm up where you're like, it, it, it gets better. You don't want to end on this. More jokes. Let's it's get getting more. better. Yeah. We've done one and one. All right. Like the was on Jersey Shore. Oh. 
Him or me? Both. <laughs> Both of you. He looks like the guy they send to kill you for doing heroin in the Sopranos. That's what it seems like. Uh, this They're is like, a special no, needs department. This is the special needs time of this. Give them a chance. It's a special needs. Thank you. It's starting to feel like bullying. Let's see. Let's like, keep going. <laughs> uh, oh, great. Another joke from Dennis. Let me prepare myself. I wish I put like 90% fuck in this to deal with this. To clarify, there's no alcohol in this. <laughs> I mean, you look like Chris D'Elia if he got a- Are we repeating the same fucking joke? Aborted. <laughs> Are you hearing the silence after Dennis makes a joke? Good choice, yeah. Good choice. A body swap? <laughs> Are you ready? I got nothing. I'm... You got what? You got nothing? Fight! It's just not that funny. I forgot your name. Just fight! This is like, there's not even, I'm not even able to make jokes about this part where it's like, look at, look at Steve, I, you know what, Stephen is really pulling this together whenever I didn't think it could be pulled together. And I, he's not doing that great a job that he's pulling it together so much because there's only so much you can do. But the fact that, like, your big finale has Dennis making jokes like that cried silent, and the other one, whatever his name is, being like, I have nothing, I have nothing, and then like giving up, it's ridiculous. It's like, you're all, and I'm actually gonna take Steven out of this equation now, and I'm focusing heavily on Dennis, and you too, Miranda, you're really bad. That's such a great point though. I know I know that's like a joke, but like they prepared for this. Like that was to the best of Dennis's like comedic preparation. Okay, I have a question. This is for the people of New York. I am going there in a couple days. And I really know that New York is famous for a lot of comedy clubs. I really want to go to a couple comedy clubs because I actually um, want to see how it's supposed to do. So if, or it's supposed to play out, if you know any that like accept under 21s, so like it would be like 18 plus show or like 19 plus show or 20 plus show because I'll be 20. Um, or wait, actually, I'll only be 20 on the last day I'm there. Um, so like 18 plus show or 19 plus show comedy shows in New York, please let me know. I really want to see how they work. There's a lot of them in Brighton, but I just don't know if they would be like this or like actually funny, but I know that there are really funny ones in New York, so. Magic. Uh, listen up, Magic. Right, 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 right. She's asking them same questions, man. <laughs> Even more. So there we have Stephen being like, I'm asking the same questions about why are they so unprepared. Jewish version of Dave from the show Dave. Uh, I'm a little dicky. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right, a little dicky. Is that actually Papa Gut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right now, actually. <laughs> I'm also going to be really honest with you, um, me and another YouTuber who's within the space, who is from um, the UK, were actually planning on flying out to LA um, a couple, like last week or around this time, right? We were planning on, we were very early stages of it, we were planning on flying out to LA and like surprise going to one of these shows, like not telling our audiences, not telling Dennis, but like showing up, not causing an issue or anything, but like showing up and being in the audience and like being there for the show. And then like a couple days into planning, the second one came out and then we saw this one and we were like, there is actually nothing worth going to this show. 
like all memes aside, all jokes aside, this show has no substance. Well, I'm sure there's a couple substances behind the scenes, Dennis. Um, joke, allegedly. Um, but like, there's nothing worth going to this anymore. Nothing. It's, it's, it's really unprofessional and very bad. Uh, I think they'll be better off if you guys just giving them the stink eye as you guys walk out. So, uh... <laughs> but, uh I mean, I don't really feel like I got roasted, baby. I don't know. I I'll try like another one. Gotta... I'll try another one. Please, Step try it up a little bit. Oh, God. Chet, don't be gentle with me, please. Um, uh, I mean, what happened to your hair? Did you get dunked in oil and just leave it? Oh, God. I... Both of their hairs look the exact same, and if he doesn't say that, he's stupid. Can I ask you the same thing, bro? Yeah! I know, honestly. <laughs> I know. They don't, do perms. they don't do perms anymore, man. What What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, Steven. yeah. Steven's head is in his hands, by the way. I got it. I got an order. That's what I did. It's like a Russian doll. <laughs> it's like a Russian doll of awful. A Russian doll of awful. Someone from the crowd says, and these aren't even definite haters. These are definite fans. Do you like my Disney sleigh ride? Right? Got them in Paris. <laughs> I'm so happy I mic the audience. I know that I could make fun of myself. Maybe I could say like, yo, I look like Lord Farquaad if I got length extensioning surgery. That's pretty good about that. It's pretty good. Yeah, see, it's a Oh my God. Is it? Is it? <laughs> nah. Is it good? He wants me this out. This shit's starting to feel like community service. Yeah. Nah, this shit. Steven's shit's getting the laugh. Like, nah, we, can, we gotta decide. He's getting angry at the crowd aren't even engaging with him. Now, let's, let's figure this shit out. Let's see, you see why we kept the belt on? Exactly. Yeah, this was not meant to be the belt. Yeah, that's a belt of shit. So now nice Steven and the alleged Papa God, if that actually is Papa God, are like working together to like just overshine Dennis. Same. I feel like somebody <laughs> should wear a belt of shame tonight. One of you two. We gotta jump. Well, hold on. I know what you're killing me happen? right now. We got what? what it, say what are you gonna say? This guy. Yeah, that's not even a belt he can wrap around his neck. That's the sad part of this. <laughs> This guy oh. looks like a molester and the guy getting molested at the same time. Yeah. 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 I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go to the judge. That's sexy. Let's go to the judges. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. We're judging it. No, like that. That. That was it. That was it. So Dana sat in silence for an hour to bring out the big guns with that. We're being forced to vote on this. <laughs> <laughs> the judge being like, how am I supposed to vote on that? <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's just really bad. It's really bad. This oh. Vote for Steven. I feel like he did win. <laughs> yes. I vote for the audience. The audience did yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Steven. Steven. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll vote for Steven. <laughs> I vote for Steven. <laughs> wow, this, you see the shame just in voting you brought onto this? Oh my god. I think that actually is Papa God. <laughs> this is, it's like... But should Steven be even brought into this? I feel like it's too... <laughs> <good. laughs> Steven's like an innocent bystander of this. This is like these two committed a crime and the cops showed up and were like, black guy, we'll vote for him. It's terrible. <laughs> Cause they're like, I I'm getting a lot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer extra from you and that's <laughs> killing me. Oh. I, I couldn't see your mic for a second. It got lost in your mustache, in your beard. Just, just don't speak anymore. <laughs> you had opportunities. You wrote for, you didn't write for this. What? Happened. You put on a whole show and didn't write a single Holy joke shit. for a battle you set up. <laughs> so who would you say is worse? I, you had to I'm pick? figuring this out. <laughs> I think we're all figuring this out. We're like, what are we doing here? Is this like a simulation or something? So Steven's able to laugh while Dennis stands up defensive. And that's the difference as well. <laughs> Keep in mind the body language. Comfortable, 
laughing, laughing at, laughing with, defensive, defensive. This is a lot of people's oh, rock bottom tonight. Do you know what? For me, it was kind of like watching the final round of the Special Olympics. Yeah. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Special Olympics. Like nothing at all. Videos, but you know what's right? better than winning first place at the Special Olympics? Not being fucking special. Oof. And also, someone's literally just like texting on their phone, by the way, in the front row. Oh, come on, man. Right? Why you gotta bring him in there? He didn't need the, need the last part. It was this, really. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the room is uh, getting crazy. Yeah. I would hope the room's getting crazy at least an hour and 14 minutes into an hour and 15 minute show. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, Steven won. Good night, let's go home, y'all. Uh... All right, here we go. The first winner of the Super Rose Battles, Steven! Steven, you can tell me. Come out, Steven. I know you want to come out, Steven. Congratulations, Steven. And congratulations, Dennis, on being Boo Boo the Fool. And again. And again. And whenever you don't think you can be Boo Boo the Fool anymore, you do. Wow, this one was, um, <laughs> surprisingly, even worse than the first two. I don't know how, but it happened. I've lost an hour and 15 minutes of my life, but it felt like three hours and 35 minutes that I'll never get back, ever. So maybe I'm Boo Boo the Fool. Find out next time when we see when the fourth one is even worse. Okay, bye, I love you.